You know, following the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ has many perks. Obviously, one of them is getting the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the process and easily attaining Jannah bi ta'ala. And so we find very simple practices that the Prophet ﷺ gave to us that have huge rewards, some of them beyond our imagination, beyond our capacity. We can't even grasp the rewards. One of those rewards is that which comes with making a very simple dua after you finish eating your food. So this hadith is narrated in Sunnah Tirmidhi and also in Ibn Majah and Abu Dawood. It's an authentic hadith. The Prophet ﷺ said that whoever at the time of finishing his food says, Alhamdulillahilladhi at'amani hadha wa razaqnihi min ghayri hawlin minni wa la quwwa. Which means all praises be to Allah who sustained me with this and granted this food to me without any doing of my own or without any power of my own. Meaning it's a complete acknowledgement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's power, Allah's sustenance, and how you did absolutely nothing to deserve it. That it is all from the risk of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the sustenance of Allah, and the doing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, I'm not even gonna tell you the reward yet. All I'm going to say is, you know, a hadith that you might have heard with major actions that have the same reward with it. So for example, the Prophet ﷺ said, مَنْ صَامَ رَمَضَانًا إِيمَانًا وَاحْتِسَابًا غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدُمْ مِنْ ذَنْبِ That whoever fasts Ramadan with faith and, and accountability, Allah will forgive all of his previous sins. Can you imagine that the Prophet ﷺ said here, whoever says this dua after finishing his food, غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدُمْ مِنْ ذَنْبِ Allah will forgive him for all of his previous sins just because you ate and you acknowledged as you finished your food that it was not you that provided that for yourself rather it was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it was his perfection and it was not no doing of your own subhanallah all you have to do is be grateful as you eat and thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 